Welcome back boys and girls to another Ecocalypse video. So the actual banner for Spring Glamour uh, Temamuna Mai and that is going to be Chihara is out right now as well as the event that I just mentioned which I'm not going to repeat again because that's a hell of a mouthful. Um, and if you are playing this game on any server you should be feeling the same banner throughout. Um, remember those only affected are going to be the regular banners that are out for rate up normal units. So Chiraha, let's go through the character, let's do a little bit of a summon and see what she's going to be all about. Let's see if she's changed the way she is from C and what makes her unique and a meta character, again, coming out for all players. So let's jump in right into it and look at the character. So let me go to the K section and let's do a little bit of a breakdown in terms of what makes her unique. And again, I swam curious to see if they have changed it compared to what C is. So she's a healing back to life, which is exactly the same similar description the description and for that regard has changed uh but it's, it's very similar in terms of how she's portrayed in the c version support east rise team members armor 10 percent uh 10 percent for healer team and then all members attack 10 percent. so that's all the same pretty much that hasn't changed though let's check out the actual active skills deals magic damage of 88 percent attack to a single enemy row and increases the target's armor and resistance by 10 percent. so that has not changed and it goes up to 20 percent, which is perfect and that's kind of what you want to see so that is the exact same as the version in C. If we go to the special, grants a shield of 170% attack to three allies with the lowest HP. When she owns tails, the shield effect is increased by 15%. So that's incredible. That's exactly the same. And if we go through this now, you can see Volpine Protection at uh, three stars. Block the damage taken from active attacks and absorb damage of 20% max HP. The damage absorbed will be applied evenly to surviving enemies in the next attack so you guys can see that will continue to increase as well as the shield itself goes to 30 percent and the blocked amount goes to 30 percent and when you max this out right here at the seven star level you get 50 percent right um sh a shield effect is when she almost tails the shield effect is increased by 50 percent the actual um damage absorbed is 50 percent here instead so it's pretty damn high um, giving you the Volpine protection for quite quite some time. Now remember the Volpine is also up here for two rounds versus the rest of them here, which if I look over here, it's only up to it's two rounds across the board. Oh, it's two rounds across the board. So no, we're, we're good there. Well, let's see if that was any different, but it's actually not. And here you guys can see it's still three allies, the lowest HP, when the almost tails. Yeah, it's all the same here. So nothing, oh, you hear, here you actually gain a tail. From here you don't, that's the difference. So the seven stars version, you gain a tail every time you cast um, the special as well. The other versions you do not. So that's pretty important actually. And the reason why you'll see in the passive is what the tails do. Within the nine tails of the fox resides nine souls. At the start of the battle, Charaha owns three tails. If she owns any tails, when an ally HP falls below 50%, she uses one tail and brings her allies HP back to 60%, up to three times per round. If she owns any tails, when an ally retreats, meaning dies, she uses three tails to revive the ally and restore 30% of the max HP one time per battle. Pretty crazy, right? So you pretty much get a revive. So you guys can see right up to here, it's all the same. Um, here you have, let's see, this is what the difference is. Uh, it's level one, level two. Within the nine tails, Trial owns six tails instead of three tails. So that's double the tails there. And that's at tier four. Um, and if she owns any traits, 60% four times per round versus three times per round. And then if she owns any tails when ally retreats, she uses three tails to revive an ally up to 40%. And then the last one here gives you up to 50% max HP. You get the full nine tails at tier six and then 60% five times per round. So exactly the same unit. Nothing there has changed. Link wise, you got Stara, you got Curry. Uh, who is this? Dorothy. Dorothy, we don't have. Rayon and Shiyu. Man, oh man, that is a lot of pay to win characters. These ones here, well, I mean, sure, she was not paid to win, but Rayon is, unfortunately, still, until they release her on a regular banner. Two units who aren't out yet. So two units that's not out yet right now, that's going to cause a little bit of a problem, obviously. But again, she's mainly support, so the rest, most of the stuff is really not a huge issue. Where the issue becomes is, of course, for her passive, uh, if she has one with these guys kicking around. Um, so that's essentially it. Now let's check out her arms real quick as well. Because that's going to be an important one too. Let's go to the draw, and then we'll check out the event. Lastly, just to see what that goes like, like, like what that comes with, and what you guys can get in the event. But here is the arms. Um, Sesho Sekai, 
Uh, kill to protect, punish for justice, kill to protect. Additionally grants a killing shield to the target, lasting for two rounds. When shield breaks every round, restore 5% of max HP. That's huge for her. So this is going to be a must-have for sure uh, for her to, to give her max poten potential here. Remember, the more of these you unlock, the higher the um, amount restored. But also, at three stars, to the tar at the start of the battle, the shield points applied by Traha increased by 20% lasting for the entire round so that's even bigger so the shield is even stronger than before and you can see the max hp restored gets even bigger as well too right so very important to have so if you're going to be going for her you're going to want that arm that's pretty much goes hand in hand with everybody now remember you're going to get the sr version of the arm as well too so we can check that out real quick and see what that's all about but here is well, the package as, as usual let's see what her event package kind of offers all right this is trial of fire beacon here it is so let's see achievements you guys get a couple achievements let's see what this does so it restores two percent okay on the sr version three percent uh grants a killing shield but it doesn't give you a number for the killing shield up to five percent so it's half of the hp recovery and then the killing shield is applied so this is actually not bad you can stick with this if you want us free to play and not go for the arms obviously if you don't want to but you probably want to go for the arms either way. i always recommend trying at least for the arms for free to play unless you're saving for someone else in the future then of course you hold on right uh, let's check out the um, Spring Breeze, which I believe is the event. Uh, it's Fire Beacon. This is that. Fire Beacon Stock. Okay, let's see what we have. Elementium. Uh, Chiraha Emoji. The usual stuff. No, I don't see any equipment or uh, any um, things for the complex. So there you guys go. So that you can stick away from and go with that banner. Okay, so... There you guys have it. Uh, do I think she's worth pulling? Absolutely, I think she's absolutely worth pulling for. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw. Uh, let's see, we're 18 out of 50. I've got, we gotta remember, use the code if you have not that I posted in the last video. It gets you guys a free multi from the game plus a free uh, for, plus a free frame that you get as well too. So let's see what we get here. So we know this is gonna be a no-go right there. Okay, now we're gonna use diamonds. I have enough for what, two more it looks like? Yeah, we got enough for two more. So I have enough, exactly enough to hit the, the, the pity. Let's see what happens here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't have Neftis, so that's actually pretty damn good. But now I'm a little afraid that I don't... Oh, there we go, there we go, guys. But this is Bifrost, though, so... I don't know, I got another Finriru. This is a good pull because it's obviously double SSR, but not what I'm looking for. One support that I'm missing and one dupe for Finriru. Um... Back to OG, back to start of the pity. So let's see what happens here, guys. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I'm always failing this damn pity. Well, I didn't even hit pity this time. We just got extra banners to see what happens here. Ah, oh, come on, man. All right, there you guys go. So no luck on my end for getting her this round. Ah, <sighs> it's tough being F2P, man. But we got pretty good. We got a pretty good pulls. Not gonna lie, like the last one was pretty decent, so I can't really complain that much. Um, best of luck with your pulls. I'm gonna continue saving. Hopefully, we get ourselves a opportunity here. Uh, to my to my whale friends, I know you guys are probably gonna be spending. And for those who are planning to spend an arm and a leg, remember spend responsibly. If you can't afford it, don't do it. There's gonna be more characters coming down the pipe that are gonna be considered meta. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.